Ladies and gentlemen, today we'll discuss with you um, one of the options for uh, Arabic OCR that is available in the market. Um, as far as most of you know, you can use uh, Google Documents to extract um, Arabic um, language or Arabic text. However, most likely it should be uh, like in a in a like type form. However, these ones like Arabic old scripts, um, when 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 this method is used, say like I don't know what kind of language is this. It's not even Arabic. It's not it's not Persian. It's not mixed between them. It's just something like not really uh, what what you expect from uh, Google. Okay. Um, what is the other uh, alternative? Okay can see this is page uh, 34 and the other one that I highly recommend I just found it okay which is uh, this one it's called uh, nano net or nano nets that's yes nano nets and the idea of this one uh, although the, the, the customer support they told me that their technology does not support uh, extracting Arabic script. However, I found this way which is really useful. The thing is, how you do it? Okay, now, it's, it's kind of simple. Um, normally, this is how you train your model. Probably, if there's uh, a lot of demand on this one, I might do like a video showing how you train the model. Normally, this kind of uh, app or uh, website is uh, focused on, on getting uh, extracting data from tables and invoices and other stuff however I found it convenient for my uh, personal project well you can um, let's say let, I'll give you an example here okay but before I give you the example let's just compare um, the pages I believe we are on the same page see this kind of like spider mark or whatever is this and let's go to this one okay uh, almost the same so page 34 we're going back to nano nets and then what we're going to do we're going to uh, you can see this kind of grid or the kind of xy coordination cruiser that moves with the cruiser here uh, we're going to ensure that we going to uh, like almost crop but it's nothing going to happen and it's super fast Doing this in Google will take a uh, few seconds. I'm just holding the the, the 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 cruiser with me here. Now, once I release, see what's gonna happen. Like instantly, it's already like there. It's just like there, and 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 the quality, uh, the output. Uh, yes, definitely there will be some mistakes. That's 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 for sure. Okay. However, it's readable. You know, it's it's readable. So, um, and then you can say, normally, if you want to like, what, what I thought this is how it would work. I thought like you're just gonna probably uh, upload ten uh, ten data or ten uh, items that you wanna train uh, your machine using their clouds. So no need for a high CPU in your uh, computer or laptop. And then uh, this kind of learning progress until it reached the end, which is gonna highlight a few but this is like probably 10 paragraphs uh, one of the good things that you can uh, if you have like uh, uh, like for example like uh, a book or an invoice or something like that and there is a lot of things you can just say oh this is a paragraph this is a title this is highlight this is a symbol this is a gap so so th there is a lot of options that you can do but mainly you need to train every um, like every label that you just highlighted or selected around 10 times um, this is like now two okay normally you gotta go to the end after you finish everything gonna go train model what I expected that after I click train model um, it will train and it will automatically follow up with this one for the whole the rest of the document and eventually I thought it will extract the Arabic or the, this, kind of, this kind of paragraph it will be extracted into a document as simple as that I mean 
there is a lot of things that can be done to to uh, fix this one, like like to get to get the, the proper output. However, uh, for now, for this kind of current technology, I'll be uh, fine with with getting this kind of written Arabic right to left uh, like script to be extracted in a normal way, and then uh, probably. That there will be like human interfering uh, by by uh, editing the files, which should be fine. Um, also, I'm gonna put in the video description all of these kind of uh, lists. Okay, like it, these kind of links, it it helped uh, in in uh, by extracting Arabic OCR. There are like few good ones. I haven't tried them. Uh, this one, I haven't tried this one. They, there's a lot of uh, good writing about it. Okay. Uh, also, it's it's very useful to use uh, Python, okay. Uh, use, but you need to learn uh, Git, which is like small, uh, tiny programming language. It's not even a programming language; it's just like a way to handle uh, GitHub, like to to get the codes from GitHub, which is a control uh, version system. Um, so, so hopefully this gonna be uh, useful. I've tried uh, the clouds, but the clouds they, they require um, they give you a free trail for ninety days, but they require like a credit card or debit card, which um, I don't rather to 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 add here. Um, if you have any kind of uh, programming, uh, basic programming language, it will be useful to, uh, for example, clone the code from uh, from github and then use it in your uh, machine that will be useful also um, I will open uh, most likely a file that might be uh, useful um, it's like my vision of, of what uh, machine learning or AI should be capable to do in the next few years um, so for example like this okay um, it's possible that it will extract the whole thing and it will maintain or keep the, um, the title and the font if possible okay and here you can see there is a stamp and there is this kind of symbol or another stamp so um, if possible if, if the AI could not extract them at least it can crop it and then put it back in the document. Um, Tashkil, one of the obstacles that many OCRs, uh, they, they can't differentiate. So there is Fatha uh, Tanween, Dhamma, Dhamma Ma Tanween, Shadda, Kasra, also Tanween but with Kasra. Um, so like would AI recognize them? That's that's one of the questions. Um, here you can see that this kind of font is different because in Arabic you have different fonts. Normally, mainly with between Nesh and Ruqa. Nesh is much easier to uh, read. Um, some of the documents you can see that it's not really clear. So is it possible? for the AI to highlight them instead of just blindly, uh, you know, uh, extract them. Um, like here, when we have some kind of poetry, I have uh, noticed that uh, the OCR technology when it reach any kind of uh, poetry, it just failed to uh, extract them in a proper way. I don't know why, because the model goes space, so it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. However, um, so if there is any possibility that you can like extract them in a normal way and keep the same format, that would be really, really good. Um, what else? Uh, the footnote. This is also like uh, useful if this can be kept. That would be great. Um, here, I think they should should not have any issue. It probably just gonna extract it and put it in a proper way. Uh, you can see like we are dealing with different types like these types th th these kind of examples is all like uh, type not like the other one that I showed you early in the video it was handwritten um, this one 
with the image either we can just crop it or with the advancement of like deep learning it can um, the AI can redraw the actual image after uh, it's really identified you can tell this is like one of the like Roman whatever you call it like the movie gladiator or whatever so uh, I believe with the advancement of technology we can reach that that uh, point um, here you can see the, the AI should have two options either to crop it as it is or to reproduce it by redrawing it um, here this kind of equation okay um, the symbol sallallahu alaihi wasallam um, would the AI be able to recognize them or can can it be trained this is also one of the questions uh, the index in, in this kind of same format will be really really good uh, same thing here as well uh, and this is going back to that someone that we uh, gone through uh, extracting tables and the numbers and converting them from the Hindi uh, numerical to Arabic numerical that will be like good um, these kind of shapes two options either uh, extract it by cropping it or redraw it or reproduce it uh, sample as simple as here with keeping the formatting um, as well as here that will be good um, one of the options that if it the uh, like also like English and Arabic yeah one of the options that if, if the AI could not understand um, any kind of word is it possible for, for, for the AI to do uh, a, a research or a search uh, on the internet on the that particular part that did not understand it like for example if could not if, if the, the, this kind of would add the rear, okay? Um, if, if the AI could not really like, uh, like extract it, but this is clear, so it should be fine. If it could not, if, is it possible, like instead of is saying add the rear, said add the rear. So is it possible that, that the AI can search the word before it and after it on the internet, and most likely Google will, will, will like consider it as a mistake, and, and most likely, it will show that oh, it's, it's possible, more convenient to write at the rear instead of at the rear. So this is all we only talking about the dot. Um, so 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 this is one of the options. And then eventually, instead of just like the AI or the machine learning just just blindly uh, bring the output as just oh, we did it, uh, we did a great job. We just gave you extracted documents. No, at least like highlight this with different color that. Oh, uh, we we did we took the next uh, step and we did this and and we we, we searched online and we found this. That would be like really good. Um, here as well, uh, English uh, equation, yeah. Um, chemical equation. Uh, here, this is like one of the uh, one of the people that I just uh, talked to and. Uh, he showed me an, an example on how it can be done but still the output was not that uh, great and you can see like uh, the page number is here like being highlighted and then this one is being ignored or just like I don't know um, this is completely ignored so the, the point is not like to, to, to quickly extract Arabic OCR using OCR the point is that you produce uh, something that worth reading and it will take less time in, in editing part um, that all, that's all for now thank you for uh, your listening and uh, please comment below if you have tried uh, any of the links that uh, I have provided in the description or share with me your experience and uh, let me know what you, what you think and if you like the video please like and subscribe as well Thank you so much and have a good day.